Greetings, everybody. I wanted to go over uh, kind of a niche aspect of Agent Force, uh, which is actually very straightforward to use and can be very powerful, but we don't really talk about it that much. Now, I'm in Prompt Builder um, in a sample uh, sales email template, uh, which is fairly straightforward, but I don't want to look at the prompt. What I want to look at is the model over here. You might notice the model is custom and it's called, it's a model called Business Right. Now, how did I get to a custom model and why am I stylizing it towards business writing? Well, let's go to the model itself. Now we find this within Einstein Studio. If we go to model library, these are the standard models, the foundational models that you can normally choose. Uh, and then obviously here's ChatGTP4 Omni Mini one. You'll see it actually has two models. So if we click into that, go into the configured models, we have our friend, business writing here. Now, this is the standard model, uncustomized. This is the customized version. So if we go into business writing and edit that, uh, here's where you can test out your prompt. But what I really want to highlight is the advanced settings over here. This allows us to tweak that standard foundational model. And we do it in three different ways. So the first one is temperature. And temperature is is kind of allowing the model to be more creative. So quote unquote, the hotter a model is, uh, the more variations it will give you, uh, the more random and more random things it might try. Whereas a very low temperature, quote unquote, a cold model will kind of stick very closely to its prompts and its instructions. And it will be basically more deterministic. The outcome, the output for the model is going to kind of remain the same. Now we can tweak that further with our friends frequency and presence penalty. Now, frequency penalty tells the model how frequently it can use the same word or the same phrase. And so if you want very consistent writing, you can give it a low frequency penalty. And if you give it a high frequency penalty, that will that will kind of force it to pull out its thesaurus, thesaurus and, and create new words and phrases as opposed to reusing words over and over again. And the presence penalty is very similar to that, but it's more uh, focused on the topics, topics and the concepts that have been introduced. And so a low presence penalty will basically say, hey, your current presence, your current your, your current sphere of what you're looking at is fine, but a high presence penalty will, will once again force it to think about new concepts and think about uh, new things that maybe will attach into its responses. Now, very straightforward, if we wanted business writing, we want something that's very close to our instruction set. We want it to stick to its role. We really kind of want very similar emails to be going out every single time. So we are going to give it a low temperature, low penalty model. Now, if you were trying to do something more creative, uh, like say you were going to do like a business brief or a creative brief or something like that, then you might want to flip that script and play with a higher temperature, lower or higher penalty model. And again, you can tweak these to your liking. And then as you update these, uh, that custom model will then be uh, available to you elsewhere like Prompt Builder. So very straightforward. Little the, the terminology is a little technical, but one, I think once you get it in the hat, it's pretty under, easy to understand. And so with Einstein Studio, you can easily customize your models to suit your use cases.